and Aaron, a CHP officer telling me that at one point they were receiving a nonstop calls, all of those for traffic incidents because of fallen trees. One of those situations right behind me, I'll step out of the way so you can see what's going on. This massive redwood has collapsed onto the road and onto the power lines. Crews are currently on the scene. That is pg &E that you're looking at because the power lines are still on. A sudden continuous downpour and wind taking down multiple trees across the Santa Cruz Mountains. This viewer sent in video from Ben Lohman. So now I'm on the other side of the tree breakage and I'm in the middle. And then here's more fun and games. So yeah, there's PG&E has got a fun one up here. That causing a traffic nightmare. This woman forced to walk to work. I came from Santa Cruz. We have no power. There's a shed in my backyard, flew up off the ground and hit my house. And I drove here <laughs> and I had to go all the side roads. Got stuck everywhere. And their house is right up the street here, about a mile. I'm gonna walk the rest of the way. The California Highway Patrol says that multiple trees collapsed on power lines, shutting down Glen Arbor and Quail Hollow Road, preventing any cars trying to travel north towards Ben Lomond. Traffic over here is just building up for miles. Now there are police that is coming out telling people to turn around, but still, that message is not being made clear as, again, this traffic continues to build. And heading in the opposite direction on Highway 9 towards Felton, a tall redwood collapsed on the road in the exact spot where just a week ago, a tree collapsed on a house. People caught between the road closures forced to wait it out as crews rushed to clear the roads, including the owners of this car. A tree branch went through their window. Fortunately, neither were inside at the time. Yeah, we hitchhiked with the CHP and hopefully can head home to the kids tonight. And people that live out here are telling me that they are anticipating more fallen trees and you can see them throughout the entire area. I want to show you this. That I just saw this tree that fell down, slid down the area, splitting in half. Again, people afraid that more trees will come down and as they do come down, people will be in the dark tonight. Live in Felton, I'm Christian Balderas, KSBW Action News 8.